Hi everyone, this is Kylo and me and welcome to this video. In this video I'm using my um, Darth Vader pillow buddy who has always been a very special plush here in my room. Um, as a very special coincidence how I got him and well I really love him and usually he's displayed up there but I really wanted to use a very special plush um, for uh, showing you the Star Wars stuff that I could find in Barcelona. Uh, now, first of all, I would like to show you something that I found before we, uh, before before our departure. Now, you might have seen this Star Wars Rebels electronic figure of Darth Vader. A lot of Vaders, really. Well, he's a very loved character. Um, well, apparently, they also have been designing a Kanan, so I was very pleased to um, to get him as well. Um, I really like the picture of the character here. I think his build, the receipt is still in, in his packaging. Um, I found him the next day after finding Vader. I was very pleased uh, finding him, even though I think I paid... Um, well, there was a big difference in the price I paid for them. So maybe you can just have a look around and make sure... Um, find out where you can find the cheapest one. So this is him, I can't believe it. Now I'm going to show you even more of those nice figures. So yeah, even before departure I had a possibility to find nice uh, new merchandise. No need to say this one won't breathe. <laughs> and in the next part of this video I would like to show you the nice stuff that I could find in the huge department store called Corte Inglés. It's a huge, huge shop, really. And on the 8th floor there's a huge toy section with a big Star Wars section as well. So I could find nice stuff there like crazy. You might remember this adorable little Ezra plush that uh, Camilla gave me. Yes, Camilla, he is really loved and I found him there too. But I could find a little body for him. Maybe he wouldn't be very pleased with it. But I found this adorable little Inquisitor there <laughs> and uh, really I never saw him here. So, well, maybe I can show you how you can write the name of the of the shop. This is how you... Aircot L... Um, Corte Inglés, it's Spanish. Looks like his tag is a bit worn out. But I was very pleased by finding this little guy first. Never available here. So that was a very first surprise. Also, after finding these ones, I came across some nice Jack Pacific figures. And there I could find another Kanan, of course. Now he won't stand up, I have to warn you. Um, right there. And then Ezra, he was the last one, but he has some kind of scratches on his head, unfortunately, I noticed. Um, I was very, very pleased I could take these ones home because I could never find them here. And I have been collecting every figure I could, uh, especially Kanan, but also the Ezra ones, but really I never saw Czech specific figures of them here, so... I was just amazingly pleased. So I, there will be a video of them, of course, in which I can put them out of their box. They just look so pretty. The painting in their face is so well made. So yeah. Let's go for another Kanan. Yes, I used to collect Kanan figures and Ezra's as far as I can. And then they had all, a whole bunch of plushies there as well. Uh, and also a lot of helmets, lots of um, voice changing masks and school stuff. And uh, a lot of vehicles you, that you can construct. Or um, character play sets, really. And actually I found this. Well, you might remember my very first Yoda plush, who is really special to me. I made a video unboxing the package. Uh, I was really pleased receiving him. And actually there, 
I found, well, I think this is an underground Yoda plush, and he's known for his stalking. Um, I think of these ones, there were two models available, one snarling one, and one that could talk. And on Amazon they had a problem that they mixed them up. But I found this bigger one here. Actually, it's a similar plush, but he's even bigger. So uh, he might be an underground Yoda too. He speaks the same phrases. Um, you might have seen a video of him already. No, I don't think I released it already. Um, but yeah, I was very pleased finding him. They also had an interactive Yoda plush with a little lightsaber, but I really like this one because it really resembled mine here. Um, mine that I loved so much. And I have been sleeping about a year with him, I think. But too bad he was just about 10 inches tall or 9 inches. And this one is about 15 inches tall, I think. So no need to say how pleased I was. I left the interactive one because his box was huge. So uh, I couldn't take him with me. I had to leave the box. So I cut it apart. Yeah. Adorable Yoda plush. Also, it was a pretty good bargain. Um, he was off priced, so. Look what a pretty smile he has. He's just so charming. I was so pleased finding him. Also, because I could never find these Yodas here. That's a nice thing of the, of all this stuff. That's that I could get the stuff that I couldn't find here. Also, just like these little ones. This is the last thing that I found in Corte Inglés. Two of those plushy um, keychains I used to collect. Now I never found a Vader, uh, but I have been finding Chewbacca. Dart Maul, R2. I have two R2s. Um, Boba Fett and two Yodas. And actually, well, when I saw these, I really wanted to add them to my collection, but they were pretty expensive. Never used to pay that much for these guys. Um, I all had them in a very, um, for a very low price, uh, but these ones were about 14 euros for one, so it was pretty expensive. Um, also, because the noises they make actually don't really. Um, how could I say, don't really reflect the character. Uh, but still, I really liked the BB-8 one. He was really sweet and beautiful. And I never had a Kylo like this. And I really liked the, the little feature on his... Well, it's really hard to see. But the... the um, how they actually made his... His uh, little hood and also the little stripes here on his arms. He really tried to... Um, to show the right features of his costume, that's really sweet. So I, I hope, I was really happy I could just put them together on my little, in my little collection. And then in a random toy shop in a mall, I found um, two ransom lightsabers. So, well, I really like this one because it was kind of realistic looking. But he's just white and he looks kind of used. Of course, he's pretty bad quality. And I found another special one. This one who is purple. Uh, pink, purple. Some kind of, well, a color between between uh, pink and purple. And really, I really like the, the style of the hilt. So I don't really like the little ruby here. Um, but they're pretty good looking and pretty cheap. So glad I can put them in my collection as well. And in the last part of this video, I would like to show you um, the two um, last items that I uh, brought back from the Disney store. So there was a Disney store in Barcelona and actually you might have seen all the Nemo stuff that I found there. Um, but I had to look in the Star Wars stuff as well. Um, and there actually, well, I got back to, um, to make some pictures for Ming Ming. And then I found this really awesome Elite Series Kylo figure there. Uh, I didn't notice him in first place, but I really wanted to find a figure of Kylo without his mask. And actually, I'm look, I'm waiting for the Black Series one coming out. Can't find it, but when I found this diecast figure, that was of prize really. I wanted to, I wanted to find it. Um, so of course I was very pleased uh, that I could get this one as well. I'm really, I'm uh, probably going to keep this one in his box for now. Um, because actually his box belongs to him and uh, I don't really have a 
nice place where I can display him. Uh, I don't really want him to get to get damaged because he's one of my favorite figures ever. Too bad his lightsaber is a bit curved, but it's always been curved on the on every figure. So um, yeah. So that was the very first little item, and the second one was this huge BB-8 here uh, that I really love. Actually, I have been collecting the middle-sized one, and I had a big BB. Well, there is the middle-sized one, and I have. Um, I had a big BB-8 plush right there, but I would like to, well, there, there was my big posh paws one, and actually I would like to replace it by this one, as I, I didn't actually know there was a big, um, a big size uh, Disney Store BB-8 available, so I was very pleased to find out, and also I was so happy I could bring him back. So, he's just so sweet and big and he's almost like the real size. really like his tag as well. Um, so yeah, now he used to sit there next to my little um, storage tower. I am so, so happy with this one. And with uh, the Disney Store one just looks so amazing. I'm probably going to get rid of my Posh Paws bb 8 because actually they don't really look so good. When I see all the others, really, maybe I can just give them to my cousin, if he likes them, of course. Because I'm probably going to replace them. Now, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!